Hey, hello hackers. Welcome back to Automated Vulnerability Discovery. We're talking about static analysis in this video. Um, as a reminder, static analysis is a technique that'll analyze code without um, executing it. Uh, we're going to cover two types, one homespun, one um, kind of industrial and, uh, and, and, and big and out there. Um, we'll start with the homespun, the basics. All right, turns out you've already done static analysis. You've done static analysis manually using stuff like Ghidra, Binary Ninja, Ida, if you have uh, used Ida, and more importantly, when I say homespun, I mean object dump, grep, sad, and, and friends, right? You have manually used these to search for Rob gadgets, to disassemble a binary, etc. right? Turns out you can do the same, you can use the same tools for automated static analysis. And in fact, the actions that you've taken manually throughout the course can often be automated as well. Um, Let's take a very quick look at what I mean by this um, using a oops, using a uh, example I crafted. So I have a simple program that compares um, something that I pass in. It reads in one byte and then uh, compares it against a byte, right? Uh, a a, a fi fixed value forty two. Um, and the question is, of course, I can look at this and I can figure out, okay, well, I looked at it. Let's say I didn't have the um, source code. I would disassemble just main from the compiled program. All right, here's main. I'd look at it. I'd reverse engineer it. I'd see this comp instruction, OX2A, that's 42 in hex. I would see that and I would say, oh, okay, I need to send in... 42, I hit compare and it gives me a failure, not hex 42, 2A, all right, success. And I have the flag. Um, this was a manual analysis done using object dump. Turns out I can automate this, right? So imagine that I'm an automated system. I have to create an automated system that will take a look at this binary and figure out, oh, what is the answer? So I create, I, I, I do the object dump, I pipe that through grep, I search for the comp instruction, there's only one, that's nice, only one in main at least. Then I do some post-processing to remove everything up to the hex number. Awesome, there's my 2A. Now we need to convert it into a, um, uh, into the echo, right? So let's um, do, uh, use parallel for this. Can do echo dash e to put two backslashes so that it escapes uh, the so that make a backslash makes it all the way through parallel. And I have echo dash e backslash x and then the input. Boom! That converts it to ASCII. And I, of course, if I manually do that, that works. Or I can send that through, and that works. Boom, that is an automated analysis based on manual insights, of course. I knew that I need to look for the comp instruction and so forth, um, but I created a, a automated analysis that managed to do, to identify the input that this program needs using object dump grab said. Let's scale this out. I created a ton of different compares, each one taking a different byte. So if I, of course, uh, do compare 65. Okay, 65. This should take hex 41, which is capital A, and it won't take anything else. Right? Now, of course, I can script all of these. I can go from 0 to 255, the whole range of the byte, and for each one, I uh, 
disassemble the right binary, use my grep and set based auto automatic analysis. I don't execute anything in that analysis, it's a static analysis, and run that back through the binary I was executing. And I get success almost every time. Zero zero was a failure. I wonder why. We won't we won't worry about it. But success on on these uh, two hundred and fifty failures on the rest. Ah. Uh, okay, we're not gonna worry about it. The point is, we had many successes. Not sure why we had many failures. My guess is negative. Uh, I defined it as a char and not an unsigned char. Would that matter? Yeah, that would probably matter. Anyways, uh, the point is using object dump, grep, and sed. I wrote what is essentially a static analysis. It's not a very complicated one, but people have written very complicated ones. When they have access to source code, it can get even better. You can create complex queries using grep that basically say, hey, is there a, um, uh, a scanf that doesn't have a uh, length value? Or is there a uh, read that goes directly into a stir copy that doesn't have a stir land in between? You can create these with grep. Grep is a very good tool for static analysis. All right, let's uh, take a look at something real. Um, and, and we're going to talk about CodeQL. CodeQL is a uh, query language to query security properties on large code bases. It was created by GitHub, um, or it was, it was created by a small uh, group that was acquired by GitHub. Um, and it, it provides a query language where you can describe the analyses you want to carry out and it will handle all of the craziness of you know getting the code base into the right format etc 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 right um, in fact if you go to this lgtm.com um, etc you can analyze pseudo and so let's do that real quick oh no why doesn't this work there we go. All right. Um, here is the uh, code QL analysis of sudo. If you scroll in, you see there are 22 warnings for sudo. Scroll down. Um, there's some pre can there's some canned analyses. So it'll run uh, queries that it has internally. Uh, we can all go in and, and look at what they are and so forth. Uh, mostly here in sudo, there's a bunch of these uh, dangerous functions that it can call and then there's an integer overflow. You're very familiar with integer overflows as a result of multiplication, in fact, as well from the memory errors module. Turns out there might be um, a uh, multiplication based integer error right in this line in sudo. Someone should take a look and see if it's really a bug. Of course, CodeQL is a static technique and it could be a false positive. All right. Um, other tools for static analysis. There are many, 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 many tools. Um, I'll point out a couple. One, Anger. Anger is a Python library that provides a whole lot of different analysis capabilities in a scriptable way. So for example, if we go here um, and we drop into Python, import Anger, load it up. We can, for example, compute a control flow graph. Oh dear. We're reloaded. Anger is not as easy to use as Anger is probably one of the easiest to use analysis frameworks, but there are some gotchas. We're going to turn off library loading so that 
analysis goes much faster. Boom, that was much faster. Uh, and for example, here, all of the uh, code nodes uh, in the, the binary, similar to what objdump does, but anger works even if the binary is stripped out of all symbols that objdump relies on to extract this. Um, there are, let's see what functions there are. Um, silly Python. We can do what functions, um, and we see there's a main function, a couple of others, and we can do other uh, various static analysis queries, see what um, type of what pieces of code touch uh, uh, what um, uh, data and 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 so on. Um, and etc. Alright, for example, you can see what data anger was able to identify inside the binaries, um, such as at location 40318, there's a 28 byte string, this sort of thing. Of course, there's a tiny binary, that's probably some built in stuff. All right. So there's anger. Um, if you're interested in anger, um, there is a place to get you started. Docs.anger.io um, is a whole introduction of uh, into anger talks about the core concepts, talks about built-in analyses, advanced topics. Um, you can go to, um, um, you can click on examples and, and there's just like examples that, that uh, do specific, useful, interesting things. All right, that was anger. Um, you're familiar with the Aida, Ghidra, Binary Ninja, um, these sort of things, they're all scriptable. You can also do static analysis in them. Not Binary Ninja Cloud, but uh, Binary Ninja Desktop. And then um, if you have the luxury of having source code access, Clang and GCC are scriptable as well. There are a lot, or not scriptable, but you can use them to implement analyses. In fact, GCC will already do some analyses. It'll warn you if you're unsafely using um, uh, stuff like stir copy in certain situations. There are a lot of static analysis tools out there. Um, maybe one day we'll expand this module or maybe make it into multiple modules to cover many of them. But for now, this is a very quick overview of static analysis. Um, again, if you're interested in doing research and creating new analyses, uh, shoot me an email. If you made it this far, you could help create the future of program analysis. See you in the next video.